What's around everyone? This is going to be your tarot card reading for the eclipse that we had, right? So it's been some days now since the eclipse. So this is going to be an advice card going based off of each zodiac sign. And yes, I'm going to do for sun, moon, ascendant of that zodiac sign. So eclipse, right? So they both was in Taurus at that. All right, we had the sun in Taurus at the time. The moon was in Taurus. So that is heavy earth energy um, that was upon us. So let's see what advice, um, now that we are fully, fully emerged into the eclipse energy, right? Because just because it's not eclipsed anymore at that particular moment, celestial energies last a little bit longer, <laughs> all right? It's because we can't really physically uh, with our eyes see those energies as is. That way, you know, that's why when it goes, we kind of forget about it. But for those who know, even though it may not look like an eclipse, the energies are still going on. So in this sense, let's talk about your advice. We're going to be using oracle cards for this one here, okay? Because this energy, you need to know on a deeper level because it is the beginning of pretty much the year, um, the beginning of something coming up new, you know, beginning of what you have planted so far, how is that coming along, what you're doing in your life, what changes and plans you've really made, how that's going. Um, things that you have detached from, um, you know, just any kind of changes that has been made um, or that you plan on making or that you're working on right now, this is going to be the advice card. This can be applied to your relationships. This can be applied to your business. This can be applied to your career. This can be applied to soulmates, twin flames, love lives, whatever you want to apply it to. Um, this is going to be that overall energy for you, right? So, let's get started. What's around Sun, Moon, and Ascendant Leos? This is your tarot card reading, actually your oracle card reading for the um, new moon that happened in Taurus, the eclipse. So, this is your oracle advice card. Um, is to, um, is number 21, exposed and revealed. So, yes, it is the way it sounds, but don't look at it as a negative thing because this is about healing, you know, this is about healing any shame that you have of yourself or any shame that you, that someone brings upon you, you know, um, you ever been somewhere where, or you heard somebody like, well, I can't take you nowhere, you know, because somewhere, somewhere down the line, they've caused them some kind of shame or embarrassment, um, or you might be having like the imposter syndrome, you know. So let go of all this mental self-condemnation that you're doing to yourself, you know. Um, you need to be free from all that. You need to be free from any kind of unresolved wounds, you know. And you need to start focusing on your self-worth. I mean, you're a Leo. What is, what is a Leo, you know, who... who feels like they're worthless, you know, uh, you're not doing your part, honey, down here in the world, that's just like the sun saying, oh, you know what, I'm not going to shine today, I feel so shameful because I wasn't shining bright, I could have did a better job yesterday, so what was me, you know, and the sun comes out at like 3 p.m. and we like... It was dark all day at 3 p.m. Then the sun just be like, I'm just coming out because I have to go to the bathroom. But then I'm going back down again. We're like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you are that sun. You have that power to actually take the rejection and learn the beauty of rejection. You ever been like rejected before and you were so grateful to be rejected? Or you watched a movie and... You knew something about that person that the other person 
didn't know. And you like, boy, don't even mess with her. She she is bad for you, honey. She's just gonna cause your your life damage. Or you know, girl, don't even mess with him. You know, you speak it to the movie. You know, he, he's bad news. He's bad news. Leave him alone. Or don't go down that way. You you, you like see what's happening ahead of time. And and you're sitting there. Um, um, telling this person, don't do this, don't do that, but then they go ahead and do it, and you're like, dang, and then they're like a woe is me moment that they have, but some movies, if it's a really, um, intentional movie, will bring out that that person's rejection actually saved, saved their life, maybe by rejecting going on that path with five of their friends, they're the only ones that they might have got talked about, like, oh, you know, you a scary cat, you a punk, you this or that. But all five of them got killed in the movie, and and, and that one person that was like, I'm not doing it, that rejected that situation and got clowned at, and she probably went back to the house or he and felt the shame that he's in the lonely house alone where all his friends are probably in the woods giggling and having fun. You know, and he's sitting in shape for me while they all getting killed. <laughs> you know, I'm just using it as an example. But sometimes this happens in real people's lives. Like if you listen to a lot of rap um, stories or anything, they will talk about that where it's like uh, a guilty complex. Like, you know, all my friends is dead or even in the military, you know, war. All my people's is gone and I'm the only one surviving. Why me type stuff. There's a reason behind that. And, and the only way you'll be able to find that is by starting to look at any rejections as beauty. What have I learned from this? Why is that good for me? Even if you have to say, hey, it was good for me anyway because now I'm free to do this. Or hey, I'm glad I got rejected from this job because now I got more time to polish up my resume to get the job that I really, really want. You, you know what I'm saying? So use those rejections and kind of flip the script on it. Flip it. And that will help you... Um, kind of um, deal with being exposed and when you're exposed it's not going to be so harmful you know if anything you're going to be like hey I don't work on myself I don't work on my flaws you know everybody has flaws nobody is perfect and even if you get rejected from an interview or rejected from you know uh, um, being in a play or something like that there's something bigger coming you know there's something that's just not for you <laughs> you know you just don't see that it's just not for you you might not know why didn't happen but move on keep going okay it now it got exposed it got revealed now heal from it and move on have a good day and night Saturday Sunday Leo's for this eclipse that happened in the moon in Taurus during Taurus season